YouTube, what is going on right now? We want to talk about some new rumors that have been floating around the internet recently. Um, as you can see on my screen or, or in the video that you're watching, uh, we are on AnimalCrossingWorld.com. Uh, they put out an article along with a number of other uh, news sites about some new potential features uh, that are rumored to be coming to Animal Crossing New Horizon via some data mining. Uh, so I wanted to go over some of these new potential uh, features with you all. Now I do want to emphasize again, these are rumors. There is no guarantee that any of these features will actually come to the game. Um, but since some of the information that was found while data mining hints at this, uh, there's probably, I don't want to say a decent chance, but you know, uh, I mean, there's a chance that this already exists, I guess is what I'm trying to say, and that, uh, you know, there could be some pretty pretty cool new features coming to the game uh, at some point. So, if we dive on in, the first feature that we see, or potentially may see, is that Crazy Red may be coming back to the game. Now, Crazy Red is a character from previous Animal Crossing games, and he would sell you art and fake art. Uh... The idea here is that Crazy Red would actually dock at the private beach on your island. So every island has a private beach. It's, it's usually on the, the top side, the north side, or the back side, whatever you want to refer to it as, of your island. And at that area, usually it's a difficult little place to get to, as you can see kind of on the screen. Um, you know, there's a screenshot of somebody on their private beach um, in the game. So the thought is that Crazy Red is going to dock his ship at this little beach and then you're going to be able to buy art from him um so if you can buy art that would lead us into the next feature that is rumored and that is that there are potentially going to be some museum upgrades uh there's potentially going to be a third story which would house art and statues now obviously if red is going to be selling art we need a place to store that art so a museum upgrade only makes sense Especially given that, you know, again, this was in previous games, so to bring something like this back, you know, makes sense for Animal Crossing to do that. And, well, when, you know, I'm sure you've all noticed when you walk into the museum, you can either go to the right for the fish, you can go down the stairs for fossils, or you can go left for the bugs. But you can't really go up anywhere. There's two sets of stairs behind Blathers, but they don't take you anywhere. Well, it seems like maybe in the future we might have a third story where we can have art and potentially statues there's a couple other things that are rumored uh there might be a museum shop and the gyroid cafe so if we get the shop that means we'd most likely be able to buy museum themed items amongst other things i think somewhere in this article um uh so maybe a custom exhibit room don't know again rumors speculation but given that some of this information was found via data mining. Um, you know, there's probably a reasonable chance that some of this stuff gets added to the game, you know, at some point. I don't know when, but we can only hope. And then the other part of the museum that there is, is some rumors going around is that the cafe with Brewster would be returning. Um, and with that, that would most likely bring back gyroids, which I know are obviously very popular uh, from previous Animal Crossing games. So... For me personally, it was somewhat surprising that they weren't in the game initially, um, you know, upon the release of New Horizons. But if it's going to, you know, if it's something a part of like the release plan, then then I get that. And that's that's cool. But we'll see. Um, it would be interesting to have gyroids back into the game because I know that, again, has been a, a big part of Animal Crossing for a very long time. Uh, the next rumor that came about this data mining that was, uh, I think it was put out on Twitter. I think at the, the bottom of the article tells us, and I will, by the way, I'll link this article in the video description. So if anybody wants to read this full article, um, you know, you're more than welcome to. I'll put it in the description uh, so that way you all can read it as well. So the next rumored improvement to the game is that there are going to be bushes. Um, right now we only have trees or flowers, so the thought, I guess, uh, bushes were also in, what was it, New Leaf on the 3DS. Um, so, hoping, and there's some speculation that we'll get bushes so that we can then decorate our town with bushes besides trees and flowers. It's kind of that intermediate. 
Um, and the most recent types that have uh, been found in the data mine or in the game files that was found while data mining is azaleas, hibiscus bushes, hollies, hydrangeas, camellias, and osmathus. I may have pronounced that wrong, but um, there are some different bushes that were found uh, within the game files. Uh, the article does point out that there were some other bushes, I guess, in the previous uh, game files that were out there. So probably subject to change on which bushes eventually come to the game. But, uh, you know, for now, it's looking fairly certain that bushes will come at some point. It's just a matter of when. Uh, the next part that was found or has been kind of rumored is that we're going to get vegetables. Um, as you can see, there's a list right here. It shows that the vegetables could include tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, pumpkin, wheat, and sugar. Now the thought would be this would be, you know, just like the fruit trees. You could plant these, grow them, maybe do something else with it. Not sure. Um, there is some speculation that, that maybe some of this is tied to like Earth Day. I think actually up here, the bushes, people are, are thinking that maybe, you know, with the, the Earth Day event coming up soon, I actually believe it's, uh, what's today, the 20th? I think Earth Day is in two days. So the thought is maybe some of these types of updates actually get released with Earth Day. Earth Day. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but again, that's kind of speculation that the article uh, points out. So would be interesting. I don't, I don't know about vegetables. My concern with vegetables is that, you know, with 10 villagers that we already have, um, you know, we have two shops, we have a museum, a campground, resident services. If you're trying to grow flowers and trees, we don't have a ton of extra space to try to now grow, what is this, six different kinds of vegetables, but I'm all for it. You know, I'm, I'm all for, you know, the game up, upgrading and, and getting new features. So I'm all for it. I just don't know where on my island I would plant some of these. I guess I just have to figure it out, and that's a problem I'd like to have. Uh, the next feature that has been rumored from this data mine is that there could be the potential for cooking. Um, I guess this idea of cooking came about from the data mine because there are these player reports that uh, Nintendo gets to kind of tell Nintendo how the game is being played. And um, one of the features within that report is this get recipe cooking. Um, so obviously if they're capturing or they have a report built around how many players are using this cooking feature, then that probably leads to speculation that we may be able to cook. Now, personally, I don't know what value cooking would bring to the game in terms of like, just again, off the top of my head, maybe it's since you can eat fruit, maybe you could cook something and you could get like energy, maybe the energy is something you need to kind of get into the next feature, which is rumored to be diving, or you know maybe they do something with that, or maybe it's a way that if you cook the vegetables and fruit you get, maybe you can sell them for more money. Um, again, I'm not totally sure. I'm I'm just speculating on what cooking could do because it's not like you have you know health or stamina in this game. So just kind of curious what aspect cooking would would bring, but hey, I'm, I'm interested if, if they've put that much thought into wanting to capture the recipes around a player report, then I'd assume it's a, uh, a fairly large feature that they've probably thought a decent amount about. Now, next up, the next feature, I should say, that has been rumored, and I think this is actually some people in my Twitch chat were talking about this pretty recently, is, um, is diving and the ability to actually go into the water and dive and now with diving, there's also some rumors that we would get 33 new um, items, or I guess it, uh, they're calling it seafood in this article, that you would get 33 new items for your Critterpedia that you would have to then, you know, farm and collect uh, for your collection. So I'm all for this. Um, I guess they found in the data mine that the, the clam is, is one of those 33 items so that explains why you can't stack clams right when you're farming them there's like one clam per inventory slot which is really annoying right now but if it was all a part of a bigger you know critterpedia expansion then each clam is treated as an individual um, organism i should say 
and uh, that's why they won't stack. So there is some other things I think in here. Where does it say? I think it said something about seaweed. Uh, here we are. Diving feature would allow you to catch different creatures in seaweed. Um, so again, it, it sounds like the Critterpedia is going to get some sort of expansion where there's some sort of sea creatures. Maybe it's like lobsters or crabs or, or something like that that we could then go and dive for, um, you know, to help expand the uh, the Critterpedia, which would be awesome. I I big fan of collecting for the Critterpedia, so this is probably uh, my personal the, the feature that I am personally most interested in and hope that the game gets. Um, and the last feature here that's rumored is that there would be a third Nook's Cranny expansion. Now right now the photo that you see on your, your screen is the one uh, that most players have. It's it's the first Nook's Cranny. Then I believe, again, I, I from what I've, I haven't gotten concrete um, evidence that after 30 days your Nook's Cranny expands. But given that, you know, the game came out a month ago today, uh, a lot of people should be due for Nook Cranny expansions very soon. So once you get the second Nook's Cranny, then there's now a rumored third Nook's Cranny. That would be another expansion. Um, so no, no, not a lot of details based on this, but I guess it did seem to reference a third version of Nook's Cranny in the data mine, which would be interesting because I'm all about being able to buy more furniture and seeds and all that good stuff. So all, always excited for expansions of, uh, of the Nook shop. So with that being said, I know there's a lot of content and rumors that we just discussed. Um, again, I, I will have this article linked in the description. So if you want to read everything that you just saw in this article, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. But with that being said, if you would please let me know in the comments which of these rumors most excites you. And then also, if you would all please like and subscribe to the video, I would greatly appreciate that. And that way you all would be notified every time I post a new video. So thanks, and let's hope some of these rumors come true.